investigation 12.2. If you did not do 12.1, 12.1 gives students time to practice using the multimeters, which is pretty crucial for um, use in this lab. So if you haven't done 12.1, consider doing the end of that one because it shows students how to measure both the voltage and current of a circuit using this. And today they're even going to use the um, ohm resistance measurement as well. So it actually starts off with kind of an investigation. Um, in the electric circuits kit, it comes with these resistors. The resistors are a mystery. It does tell you that one of them is five ohms, one is 10 and one is 20, but they're not labeled. So it's all covered up, you're not sure. And so what students are gonna do is an investigation measuring both voltage and current on their circuits in order to uh, figure out which one is which. The way I would uh, probably do this, if you turn to page two, there's actually where they will measure their voltage and their currents. I would have as a class, hey, let's set our multimeters to voltage. Always go to the 20 volt uh, measurement. That should give you a good reading. Um, and then just have them add these onto the circuits. And then this way, when they can measure the voltage, so this one I'm at 1.5. Then we can change that, add in a different resistor, 1.5. And actually what they should find, makes sense, is the voltage is gonna be the same across each of these. Because the voltage in my circuit hasn't actually changed, it's just the battery. But having them do all three like that now I only have to switch this one time over to current, and I'm gonna to go to milliamps. We don't want to switch back and forth and forget and then measure current incorrectly. Um, so now I can measure current, and those are gonna be different. Because um, as you change your resistance, your current changes, your voltage is gonna stay the same. That's kind of what their takeaway is gonna be. But they should, hopefully you've covered Ohm's Law before this, and so now they'll be able to calculate using Ohm's Law the resistance for each of these. I haven't gone ahead and looked at each one, so I can't tell you which is which, but a quick experiment is gonna tell them. Next up, uh, this is actually a pretty simple part, but they're gonna use the potentiometer and they're going to measure resistance. On this one, you just wanna look for the, the ohm, the omega symbol. Um, and then if you go to the 200, um, I was able to pick up on the resistance for this. Um, this is actually pretty nice. I just stick the leads into the metal and then kind of angle it so that way it stays put. It should stay touching the metal pretty easy uh, no matter how you hold it. But if I have it set at zero, I should find, and you gotta hold still while you do this, I'm floating close down to zero. There's always gonna be a little bit of resistance because there's some resistance in the actual multimeter. As I start to increase my multimeter, I'm seeing that number go up, 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 and I float around 100 when I'm up at max 110. And so they'll be able to measure, you can probably do like measure at zero, two, four, six, eight, something like that, so they can get some different resistance readings. Finally, they're going to set up a circuit, and just give me a second while I add this in. You want two batteries in parallel. You want your potentiometer in there, and then a switch. Oh, and a ball. You'll definitely want the two batteries, otherwise um, with very little amount of resistance in the potentiometer, your light bulb's not gonna light. So right now I'm set to zero. You can see as I turn this up, my light bulb dims, even though, so I'm turning, 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 now I see a light, even though, so I'm set at seven, I don't see a light, that doesn't mean that there's not a current. And so students will actually measure and go, oh, okay, there's still a current going through there, even though I don't see a light. So <clears throat> students are going to be setting this onto the voltage reading and then measuring voltages. They're actually gonna have, okay, where's my dial at? Note that. What's my voltage across my potentiometer? So they'll measure that. 
and then they're going to measure the voltage across the bulb and measure that. And then the observed light output. So is it bright, dimmer, etc. cetera? Um, what they should find is if I measure now, so this is set to zero, and I measure my voltage across that, it's basically reading a zero voltage. I got 0 0.01. As I increase that and that goes down, now if I measure, I actually have a voltage of 1.7, 1.8, and then if I measure here, this has decreased. But if you add those together, you're gonna get the total voltage of the circuit, which should be three. So hopefully students can see how if I increase the voltage being taken up here, it's decreasing the voltage being used up here at the light bulb. And that's a pretty good um, concept to understand. And then it just ends up with some questions. So this is an easy four part, one day type of lab. I do recommend doing 12.1 first, so they kind of get used to this, but it's not too hard if you um, have pictures of like what the dial settings are supposed to be for the students, so that way they don't get them mixed up. Always forget to close off your circuits, take out your batteries at the end, um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.